Hey guys, it's Nick and Jess, and today we are tackling cleaning the RV. Yearly maintenance, ready for travel season, spring cleaning, whatever you want to call it, that's what we're doing today. Doing it today. So All follow right. us step by step and we're going to tell you how we do it. Maybe you have a different way, but this that's is how right. we clean our RV top to bottom. All right, let's get to it. So here we are inside our RV and we're getting ready to pull everything out, wipe everything down and get it ready for our adventures. Yep. In our RV, we use just the same kind of things that we would use inside our home. Yep. We also like to use some gentler options like vinegar and water or Mrs. Meyers products on the areas where we typically eat or use our hands a lot. So to start cleaning your RV, the first thing you need to do is get everything and haul it out of the RV because you want to be able to see all of the areas you need to clean. And so the best right. way to do that is to take everything out. Okay, so here is a useful tip. When you're cleaning, clean in a systematic grid type pattern. So you're gonna clean from the top to the bottom and go left to right. That makes sure that you hit everything, that you're not skipping around and missing little places here and there. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you're cleaning the filters in your vents. And how to do that, simply unscrew the top lid, take out the filter, rinse it out, let it dry, and then put it all back in. That's right. Okay, so the other thing you wanna make sure you're doing is wiping down all of the can lights, all of the vents, everything on the ceiling that's not just the ceiling. So all of the compartments and components on top of the ceiling. Give your walls and cabinets a good wipe down with some warm water and vinegar and you'll knock all the dust off and keep them nice and fresh. Continue using that same solution for all of the surfaces, chairs, any surface that you haven't cleaned yet, make sure you're using that solution, just give it a good wipe down. And while you're at it, use some glass cleaner and hit the windows, give a nice brush to your screens and they'll be ready to go. It's time to clean the bathroom. I know, it's everyone's favorite place to clean inside the RV, but I've got some tips to make it a little easier and less terrible. Okay, tip number one in the bathroom. When you're cleaning and you're using things like lemon juice, which we are, get yourself a squirt bottle and put your lemon juice inside. Squirt bottles are life, you guys. It's gonna save you time and mess. I've already pre-sprinkled some baking soda here in the toilet. It's a great cleanser. It's easy on your tanks, easy on the sealant. It also is a deodorizer and cleans wonderfully. Take your lemon juice, squirt it generously over the baking soda and let it sit for a minute. That's gonna let it activate, get all cleansy. You're gonna come back, scrub it down, rinse it out, shiny clean. Clean your shower in the same fashion. Sprinkle the baking soda, squirt, squirt your lemon, let it sit, scrub it, and done. Scrub and done. So after you've taken off the linens, inspect your mattress. Look for any wears and tears, any rips, anything like that, flip it over, check for the same thing, and then vacuum your mattress as well. After you've washed your linens, put the linens back on your mattress and your bed is all done. Okay, now that you have wiped everything down off of your walls, all the dirt and dust have fallen off of your windows, your window coverings, your walls. It's all on the floor now. It's all on the floor now. Now you need to clean the floor. So we're sweeping, we're checking that all of the crevices are clear of dust, and then we're mopping, swiffering, getting it all out. So now the inside of your RV is 100% clean. You got the floors, Beautiful. the walls, the counters. Smells good, looks good. It's now time to head on outside. And remember all of those items that you brought from inside, outside? Well, it's time to clean those off. So wipe them all down, make sure that they are clean. And once you've cleaned all of those items, bring them all on inside. Everything is nice, smells good like lemons. We like to flip on a diffuser, open all the windows, air it out, smells good really nice and fresh and we're ready for our adventure. Okay, so full disclosure, we definitely have the engine checked out by professionals, but there are a few areas that we feel comfortable checking ourselves right in here. And inside here, you can check your washer fluid, you can check all of your fluid levels, and that's something that we do regularly. So one of the least glamorous parts of cleaning your RV is the storage compartment for the black and gray water tank for obvious reasons that we really don't need to get into, but basically, it's disgusting. Now, how do you clean it? It's pretty simple. You spray it down, you scrub it with soap, you rinse and drain, and you're all done. 
The one thing that easily gets overlooked is the roof. Now, anything that's installed on the top of the RV is a potential leak. To check on this, look at all of the sealants around each component on the top of your roof. You need to look for breaks, cracks, really anything that rain could get through and ultimately into your RV. You're gonna wanna check all of your outdoor compartments. Anything that might house little friends over the season, anything that needs, needs to get wiped out and organized, those are some good things to look at. Don't forget to check on your awning. You wanna make sure that the canvas is nice, your arms are operating, the electronic components are working, and your LEDs are nice and bright. So we call this our command station, and every year it's very important to check on all of these buttons and all of these switches to make sure that they're working properly and that they're displaying the right levels. And we're talking our black and gray and fresh levels to make sure when I press this button, the gray is really empty, the black is really empty, the fresh is full, and the battery is full. You wanna make sure that every fuse is working, so go around your RV and turn on all of your lights, all of your electronics, make sure that they're coming on, functioning properly, and if they're not, maybe just changing the fuse will solve your problem. So let's do a little rundown. We've taken care of the outside. We've checked our electronics, our engine, and all of that will be done professionally. Everything's squeaky clean, but we do have a few items like smoke detectors that we need to do battery checks on, and we just like to make sure our tools are stocked up and that we're ready for all of our unforeseen possibilities. That's right. So we didn't go into full detail on how to wash the exterior of your RV. And the reason why is because Winnebago already has a brilliant video all That's about right. how to wash the exterior of your RV with limited water. Absolutely. It's very detailed. It's comprehensive. You guys will get a lot out of it. So run over there and check it out. That's right. Well, there you have it. So that's our process on how we clean our RV from top to bottom. That's right. We really hope that you enjoyed a lot of our tips and tricks. You probably have some additional ones, so let us know if you do. That's right. Also, you may have noticed that we didn't specifically talk about the engine, the generator, or our tires. That's because we leave it to the professionals. We are by no means professionals in those areas, and it just gives us a peace of mind to use our Winnebago service. That's right. Until next time, thank you guys so much. Get to work! <laughs>